Come here, you sweet, sweet go-go juice. Oh, make my brain feel good. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Team Natty back here again. Today we're gonna do another energy drink review. The last one I reviewed was the Bang energy drink and that was quite a while ago, um, but it seemed to get a really good response. A couple thousand views um, and several people seemed to comment on it. But uh, today we've got an interesting one and I'll be right back with it. So today we have Rain by Monster. This is Either their competition to Bang, I think they realized how popular Bang was getting and how many customers were taken away from them in the energy drink uh, business, but it is a complete copy to say the least, especially with the advertising. I mean, think about it. Bang, Rain, you know, they kind of sound the same. Not only that, but the advertising is quite um, similar as well. See you here. You have, they have all sorts of different crazy flavors, and this just happens to be their pink carnival candy one, kind of like cotton candy, which is the pink color. Anyway, so they got Total Body Fuel, which is a ripoff of Bang's Brain and Body Fuel. And then they got this carnival candy, they got the pink coloring, and on the top of the lid, even the same things, BCAAs. Aminos. I'm pretty sure this together. Branch chain amino acids, aminos, it's the same thing. Alright, CoQ10, but they just actually completely put it, spelled out coenzyme Q10. Electrolytes. It's literally the same thing Bang advertises. Right here on the side you get kind of what they're going for. So it says total body fuel, you got 300 milligrams of natural caffeine, increased concentration, reduced fatigue. B vitamins, and it just lists the B vitamins that are in there. And then it says branch chain amino acids. It has a weight. It doesn't say what it does, just a weight. And then electrolytes. With all these no calories. Recommended for persons 18 years or older. As always, when drinking any of this stuff, make sure you don't have like a high sensitivity to caffeine. 300 milligrams is quite a lot, especially in one drink. If you're not used to it, or if you're sensitive to it, and you wanna make sure if you have any heart conditions, anything like that, you consult with your doctor or physician before consuming products such as this or any workout supplement for that matter, especially if it has stimulants in it. Kevin, I know you will not like this. Just watch the rest of the video if you want, but you're not gonna like this because it has a lot of stimulants in it. Anyway, getting back into this can here, we're gonna look at the nutritional label. And there's a good look at it. Not a lot of a lot of anything. The B vitamins there at the bottom, it doesn't even say how much is in there. It just says 50% of your daily value. Whose daily value? Just a normal person's daily value? 50%? You know, that could be anything really. It's not clearly defined. I've seen most things have like 12,000% of your daily value if it advertises B vitamins in it. It's got some sodium and potassium in there for electrolytes, but that's less than a Gatorade as far as their electrolyte servings go. And then you got all this mumbo jumbo down here. So let's read it off. Carbonated water and citric acid are the first two ingredients. Sodium citrate, L-leucine. Okay, so it's got some amino acids up there at the top. Natural flavors. Caffeine, L isoleucine, L valine, sucralose, sodium benzoate, so it's got preserves in it. <sighs> preservatives, preservatives. Um, the thing is though, then it's got vitamin B3, pretty close to the bottom. Magnesium, coenzyme Q10 is pretty close to the bottom. It's about third from the bottom. So is the B6 and the B12. So literally the natural energy ingredients and the cognitive things are all at the bottom. 
Another thing this doesn't have in it is creatine, which is something that Bang does have, although I hear it's not as much as they say. Not entirely sure on that one, but Bang at least has creatine. This has no creatine in it. Caffeine from all sources, 150 milligrams. That's 300 milligrams per can. So I guess you say there's two servings. So actually, looking at this, you get 100% of your B vitamins, according to this thing, and you actually do get more, if you drink the whole can, you do get more electrolytes than a Gatorade, I believe, I think, maybe. I'm not so sure on the potassium, maybe on the sodium. But that's it. Now, as far as taste goes, and this is cold, and this is when I'm going to do my workout on today, so we can get some footage of me cranking out some weight on a bang, and I can act like it's completely fueled by this little can here when it's just all me, and this is just something that makes me feel less tired during it. Plus, I'm going to have to drink heaps of water to keep up because whenever I drink any of these fizzy drinks here, these carbonated beverages, anytime I have one of them, I'm not used to it. And it burns my throat a little because I'm kind of a sissy. It also leaves a very stale taste in my mouth. So when I'm working out, my mouth gets all cotton mouth and dry and it sucks and then I feel extra dehydrated. So then I end up drinking more water and more water and then I feel bloated and then I have to pee a lot. It's probably good that I'm getting hydrated from all the water that I'm drinking, but it's because I have to because my mouth is dry and it tastes like stale cotton candy. Which by the way, this doesn't taste anywhere close to Bang's cotton candy. In fact, it tastes like a cheap knockoff. It, it's a really bad monster too. Like the monster drinks taste better than these bad boys. Like, have you guys had the Yellow Monster Rehab, the tea and lemonade? The thing is freaking amazing. It is literally just perfect. It is the one of the, it's, I, I like it because it's tea and lemonade, no carbonation, lots of caffeine. A little, little over half of this, but still it's a good amount. And dang, that thing tastes great. It goes down really quick and smooth too. And this sucker right here just tastes like a really cheap crappy uh, cotton candy flavor. Not really that great. Not really that great. No, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it at all. In fact, it just tastes like, like I said, a cheap bang. And I'm not a bang. Like, I'm not crazy about bangs. I don't even drink them anymore. I don't drink them half the time. I advise against it. They annoyed the crap out of me at the Arnold. They're throwing them around, freaking out. The whole thing was way too loud. Their whole, their bang booth or whatever was so loud, I couldn't hear anything else besides. <laughs> And then you run into the bang girls and the elevators and stuff and they think they're queens, okay? I'm just trying to get to where I'm going, man. I don't care, okay? The bang thing, like, I get, it's like this huge fad going on right now. And I don't, like, if you like it, cool. You know, do you. You know, drink a bang. Whatever. You know? Hell, drink two. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. But, let me tell you, this thing, and I'm, like I said, I don't care about bang. But I will still say that this is a cheap knockoff. So as far as the taste of it goes and the product marketing, it is a complete knockoff. Now I will say though, and you can notice this, I'm feeling a little good, all right? I'm feeling a little jumpy and excited. But who wouldn't with 300 milligrams of caffeine? That is... A good number, especially if you're like me and you haven't had a whole lot recently and you've been limiting yourself on it. Come here, come here, you sweet, sweet go-go juice. Oh, make my brain feel good. Ah, yeah. So, if anything, it does make me feel nice and wired, but that is going to lead me to a crash here very shortly. So as soon as I get halfway through my workout, my heart is going to be racing like a mother. And I'm not gonna feel too good. And like I said, my mouth is gonna get dry from this. So I will say, rain, bang, sang, lang, jang, hang. Some of those words even aren't even real words. Mang, blame, sane. I don't know. Here's the deal. Rain. I I think it's a knockoff. It's and it's a sad knockoff. It's not even trying to be something different. But it does do the job if you're looking to get wired. But at what cost? I can literally get a bang for like $1.50, $2, $2.29, whatever the case is, wherever I go. It's always different somewhere. I'm going to pick you up with me. It's always different wherever you go. But I will say this. This cost me upwards of, I think it was like $2.79, almost $3. And you can't find them anywhere. It's a new product, I guess. Maybe that's why. 
but they're expensive, they're hard to find, and they're a cheap knockoff or something you can get elsewhere that actually has creatine in it as well. And I'm not sure how much creatine in it. No one's sure how much of anything is in this sucker right here besides the caffeine. But that's my store and I'm sticking to it, Rain. You know, I'm gonna give you a three out of five. You know what, no. What I give Bang? Do I even give Bang a rating? I just, this is just an overview. But if I, like, if, okay, so if say Bang was the standard or whatever, this is a cheap knockoff. So it's just like a, a monster version of Bang and it's just not that great. It doesn't hit the mark for me. I don't think it's that great. So if you guys are like looking to try them, don't get too excited. At least maybe I haven't tried the right flavor, but what is the right flavor? So that's all on here, man. That's just opinion. Rain, I don't, I don't care. I'm not gonna buy it again. Sorry. So, don't, don't stress out about trying it, guys. Don't waste your money. It's junk. That's my view. Lift now.